I'm Christy Krueger. And I'm Janice Fernandez. Let's get right to your top story at three. Developing now an active search in a wooded area in northwest Miami-Dade, authorities are still searching for a woman's remains following the arrest of her estranged husband. Mimi Delcio was first reported missing over the weekend, and her husband was arrested in her murder and disappearance just yesterday. Local 10's Roy Ramos joining us live now from the search scene with the very latest. Roy, have they made any progress out there? Well, Christy and Janice, I can tell you that they are continuing to search. You can only imagine what this family is going through as another day now passes and they still have yet to find their loved one. That search now focused in this area off of US 27. You can see that there are signs outside that read restricted area. So while we are unable to take you inside from the ground, we will take you and show you what this all looked like from above. Still no word on if anything was found. Mr. Pacheco, you are arrested on a warrant from Broward County. 36 year old Jose Luis Pacheco faced a Miami Dade County judge Wednesday after probable cause was found in connection to his wife's murder last Thursday. The warrant was issued yet on November 14th and the charge is second degree murder. Nearly a week after the disappearance of 39 year old Mimos Mimi Dulcio and the search continues for her. From above in Sky 10, we spotted a sheriff's chopper circling and more than two dozen marked and unmarked BSO units gathered in this area east of US 27 near Chrome Avenue. According to the arrest report I obtained, detectives believe Pacheco may have killed her, then dumped her body. The question is where? The victim was murdered in the home. Her body was transported using the shared vehicle and then disposed of in an unknown location. At the couple's Broward home, investigators found evidence of foul play, as well as in the 2018 white Dodge Charger, similar to this one, they believe Pacheco used to take Dulcio and dispose of her body. She didn't deserve that. The lady was very nice with everybody. While loved ones and neighbors tell us the victim was in the process of trying to divorce Pacheco, they're not surprised of what he is accused of. Are you surprised that this happened? I know surprise. So we did reach out to the Broward County Sheriff's Office and they did confirm that they were searching for the body of Dulcio right here in this area. Still no word on if anything was found. As for Pacheco, at some point he will be transported to the Broward County Jail. He is now being held in Miami-Dade with no bond. For now in Northwest Miami-Dade, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.